gone back again. Okay, uh, had a fiasco <laughs> with the router. I tried to find the button, and um, I the the power cord <clears throat> on that router is just not long enough. Um, <clears throat> and I needed it on the top because of the shape it's in, and in, in the uh, of all the other ones. So anyway, it's, it's just where I, you know, the only good place I had to put it. So it's just like, you know, you can move it this far, maybe that far. And I thought I had, it went off. And so I lost everything. I lost my camera and my Wi-Fi, you know, my live stream. Um, and I kept searching under the desk and I couldn't find anything unplugged. And I found one place where there was no, nothing there. And I thought, okay, it must be, I must have pulled it up and it's hung up in the wiring somewhere you know <clears throat> where i can't see it <coughs> i kept messing around and finally <clears throat> i realized well let's check the button the power button because it does have a power button on the back and i was i thought i was being very careful and not turn you know not punching that power button but what had happened is i had punched the power button and it had just been turned off it was still plugged in so it came right back on once i turned it on i did i did get it to where i could see it and found Found some things I did. I found the little, uh, you know, setup button, the Wi-Fi, WPS button is what it says on the back of the router. Found the reset button. I was afraid I was going to hit the reset button, but it's recess on a hole. You got to stick like a paper, paper, paper clip in there or something like like a lot of them are. Uh, but then there's a switch on the other side. I kept feeling something. I thought, what is that? And finally, it's a switch. And one side says uh, router. You flip it left to right, you know, or right to left. One's router, and, and that's where it's at. And then the other one is, what does it say, repeater or something. Anyway, I forgot the exact words, but it tells you that it's a Wi-Fi repeater. You can just turn it into a Wi-Fi repeater by flipping that switch. I had completely forgotten that thing had that feature. So uh, I could actually just flip that switch and take it out in the garage, and it'd be a Wi-Fi repeater, and I could use my... TP link again is my main router. Only thing is the problem that TP link it has all the settings in it to forward ports to the internet, but it doesn't work. And what I used to do is plug my Linksys straight into the uh, router and then go to the it, and and the Linksys would do that. It would forward to the internet so that it could get my web server on the internet. So that this D link does it perfectly. And, and you really want your newest, fastest ones to be the first one next to your router. Um, or at least I do. But, uh, I mean, I've gone around, but I'm not going to keep going. I've gone around and around about it. But anyway, I'm going to try that now. Um, I don't believe punching that button will. I think I will look and I think I have the manual for it. I think I'll look at that first. I've already got into a big mess. I could have known where those buttons were without... That's why I hesitated, but it was, I knew it was a pain, but I just thought, well, I don't want to get in the dust, but I'd forgotten just how bad it is. You can't even turn them around. Um, and I have it tied down with a string, the whole three, uh, a router, a switch, and a router, they're all tied down with a string together and tied to, oh yeah, I didn't finish tying that string right. They're tied um, to the, <coughs> container that they're sitting on so that I don't lose I have lost I've had one or two of them fall behind that desk and boy you talk about pain getting them out of there because there's all kinds of ethernet cables power cables on the way down for them to get tangled up in uh, let me tie that string right quick and I'm not gonna I thought about moving the camera but that's just more time
so I didn't try to make a stream this time. I just <clears throat> I just uh, made a video because I kept keep losing my stream messing around with the router. Uh, the string uh, I tied it. I'd only half tied it. I, I tied half of it. I've just remembered when I was looking at it. I I tied around the all the the routers and switches, but then I tied it to the front of this container to uh, keep it from sliding back. I just realized I didn't have it fixed. It wouldn't couldn't fall off the back. I, it could all fall off together the way I had it. Uh it's, it just gets ridiculous when you're really tired, but you don't want to quit because you want to do something, and then you never get anything done because you keep screwing up. But I'm still trying. <clears throat> okay, so uh, I'm going to get on the desktop <clears throat> and see. I'm pretty sure I have the uh, my, a manual for it, so we'll get that open. Let's see. Yeah, the, I'm all ready to go to it. Let's see if we can make sure we can get to it. I kind of want to just press that button, but I'm afraid I will screw up big time somehow. Oh, yeah. What's connected? Okay. So, yes. Yeah. So, I think when we mash that button while this uh, camera is in the pairing mode, it may just pair with this. We'll see. Or pop up and ask me to. <clears throat> Actually, it'll have to. I'll have to put in a password. If I can just get it to see that device. Well, I don't know if the router can do that we'll see I, I got a feeling i'm trying to do something that the, that can't be done with this router maybe any normal router can't do that let's see videos making just fine documents i got two folders for the d link hmm didn't know that 869 let's see oh that's the uh, backup of the config bin file okay I guess that's why I put it separate so that I wouldn't accidentally click on it <clears throat> I think if you click on them <clears throat> uh, it all depends on your operating system I guess but it might actually try to you know do activate and go flash your router or something I don't know. It couldn't do that. You have to upload it to the router. But anyway, it could hurt. My, I guess I was afraid it would hurt. There's another one right there, though. <coughs> At some point, I put it in its own folder <coughs> with the whole. That might be EDWRT for for the D-Link. That's what it might be. Lost it now in the folder. There. Now, I'm not sure. I, usually, I put. I would say that it's DDWRT. I think that's just a backup of the uh, firmware. I, actually, it's probably not the firmware. It's probably just the settings. You, this firmware is a bin file too. But okay, so here's the manual and a PDF. See now, when I'm not doing a live stream, I don't. The only way I know that I'm working is if I can't hear it. I can just see that every, I get signals. You know. But I am getting a signal there, so click to repair. I don't think it's broke. Well, it could be. Let's see if it does that again. Yeah. Oh my darn! I rebooted my laptop, but then I was I didn't I wasn't finished setting everything up, so it's it's lost its connection. I rebooted the everything. So I'll reboot it again. Now the domain doesn't do good at reconnecting if it loses connection. But what I've been doing is I leave it on the switch, and and, is, and the switch doesn't, for some reason, switch plugged into the router. It's the, uh, the modem, the uh, the D-Link, the switch, and then the cheapy link router. And so things that are plugged into the switch don't lose their IP address when I reboot the, the modem or the router and or the router. Of course, it wouldn't when you reboot the modem anyway, but the only thing that gets its IP from the modem is the router that's plugged into it. So, okay, we'll be ready to do that. And uh, here we go. What's at the bottom of that? Oh, it's just not full screen. It's like, what? This is the router I'm 
going on about here. Yeah, AC1750 Wi-Fi router, DIR869. Uh, Let me go ahead and log into that laptop. Okay. I'm trying to remember to just turn that keyboard off. I leave the mouse on, but the keyboard off because I bump it when I'm doing all this stuff. Well, I forgot, and it was I had uh, bumped all kinds of keys and messed things up. But um, what we want to know is what do we want to know? I think it's WPA. Yeah, WPA, WPA2. I don't know if it'll say button or what. I should be in WPA2 as far as the security goes, but that button will, uh, it does have plenty of features. It's just what bothers me about it is it, it's the, it's not laid out and nothing works the way, I'll, you know, routers, all my other routers have. They all are fairly similar. There's differences in every one, but this one is quite different in the, in the, you know, inner web page interface here we go there's the back of the router so that is the WPS button not WPA so WPS button and then next the resets in there but you have to stick something like a paper clip in there there's the power button that I accidentally hit and there is the router or extender that's what it says so it's just like that on a router uh, okay let's see the easiest most secure way to connect your wireless devices to the router is WPS Wi-Fi protected setup. Let's just read it to myself here. Cameras. Press the button, start to blink, in two minutes, press the button on your wireless device or launch the software. So I've already launched the software. I'll allow up to one minute for it to connect. This it says it'll just do it. Okay, so let's just see. I'm going to... Uh, yeah, I'll go over here and get in the uh, logged out. It logs out pretty quick. Go ahead and get in here. And that's the only way I can tell that it will be able to see if something new comes in is watch the connected devices. So I'm going to go up there and mash it. Okay, so the main headlight's blinking on the uh, router. I don't think I'm going to have really any way to tell. It says it could take up to a minute. I'm glad I read that. I would have not waited that long. And uh, I don't know whether or not... Well, you know what? If it connects, it should go away in this screen. Yeah, I think it says in the instructions for this thing that once it connects, it'll go right back to just a normal preview. But the thing is, it tells you to you got to type in the password. It, you 
you on the on the phone or whatever, you'd select the find the SSID and then type in the password and then it would connect. Touch the icon, open the app. Now what's the is there more of those instructions? But it's still blinking. Oh, there's more instructions. Oh, okay. Yeah, see, this is for you to be able to control it, is have a preview and control the camera. That's why I'm thinking, you know, I'm probably all wet and funny thinking that I could do this with the connected to the router anyway. It's not really made for that. But <clears throat> my mouse is... I'm going to reload that page right there because it's... Maybe it'll keep it from logging out. Well, it went back to page one. I've got a feeling it won't auto load any new devices if it even worked yeah and it shows you you know a diagram a picture of a screen and what all you could do okay it quit blinking now nothing happened over here so i don't think it can do that it's not that kind of thing it's not a wps kind of setup yeah so you have got to have one of these uh apps that are made for that and the one that they tell you is you know it could very well i think there's malware i think it's it's got some malware in it i mean it showed up that download page showed up to have malware on it so i ain't no way i would download that besides you can't read it i mean you don't even know what the heck you're downloading it's all in chinese and then there's a bunch of instructions on how to uh how to use the um, <clears throat> the the app so that would be different on uh, I'm going to reload this page one more time make sure there isn't something new that I know there isn't but yeah so it would have quit blinking over here on the camera for a minute uh i don't know if you can maybe barely see that there's text in the screen there it would have uh if it had worked that would have went away and it would have just been your normal preview you know for aiming the camera I'm gonna turn it off. Make sure it goes off. yeah you don't know for sure if it goes off when you shut that window i could kind of see because of where i was sitting sometimes i go i don't know if off and open it back up. But see, that's what it would normally look like without, of course, without any text. But you still have your. I remember that that all that those menus stayed there all the time. But uh, now it's just charging. It's not super tight there. Yeah, that's kind of bright for me there. I want to do it like that. No, it's not too bright. There, that's so it's not too. Not too bright, but uh, I keep forgetting that I'm not turning away from the mic. I'm probably messing up the sound bad. All right. This is the last thing I'm going to do. I'm going to do what I didn't didn't want to spend, you know, a lot of time doing. <laughs> uh, search for another app. You just, you know, one that might work. I'm going to leave that like that. <clears throat> okay. Um, my desktop. Let's go to. Kind of trying to think of what kind of app I would, what it would be called. When I search for that, uh, what's the name of that app? V uh, VF Cam. Yeah, I'll do that, and then similar apps will come up. Probably, I might have found something that would work if I would have done that first. But, you know, hindsight's always twenty twenty, right? Yeah, I'd like to make sure this battery's charged all the way and then put the other one that's completely dead in there and let it charge. Now that I realize I don't have to plug it into my computer to charge it, I'm going to use a phone charger. It'll charge faster that way, too, I'm pretty sure. 
Okay. No, that's not really how I wanted to do it necessarily, but yeah, I, this this one here, Tiny Cam, didn't work. That's on Mom's tablet. Uh, it's for IP cameras, so it's a different kind of app. I need is VF okay VF cam okay. I'm gonna get it leave that open and get into another page for searching This may or may not be the app that uh, it's not compatible anyway. If this is their app, the one that the camera maker, Is goodcam.net same thing like uh, you know what what the uh, but it won't work on mine anyway so uh, let's see all process free you got to do that every time you do a new search okay and then oh not devices uh, yeah Android apps thought you could do it by stars used to be able to uh, organize them by, you know, nothing under so many stars. I used to do it all the time. I says search, but you can't type there. Android apps. What's that? Oh, that's back to my phone. Okay, well, I guess you can't do that anymore. <clears throat> that makes you have to look through a heck of a lot more stuff. I guess they quit doing it because so, so many apps have such poor ratings. I do remember, well, that has better rating. It has uh, four stars, and I remember reading that in reviews. So. Yeah, Kim. search so let's check that one out I'm gonna get rid of that because I don't wanna okay incompatible oh well maybe if I let's say I wanted to put it on cam I am gonna put it on if I don't drop it and knock the cover off of it and the battery falls out M2. Yeah. Let's do that because oh, that doesn't work that way. Free. Okay. Well, that one didn't work. I may be, I'll just keep looking at them because I wonder if this kind of app just won't work on my, uh, well, let's look for, what does this do, Kim by Jelly Bells, I think this is just a photo editor, yeah, that's what I thought. Let's see what this one's supposed to do. I never paid any attention. It might not even really be. Remotely view and control sport camera. Download video from sport camera. Okay. 
Well, that is the type of app, I suppose. This is not a sport camera, but it's similar, isn't it? Okay. So let's do that now. Yes, now then. Okay, four, four. Air mirror. If I see any that have, I see a lot. There's tiny cam down there. Camera remote. I like to use the ones that are open source when I can. Oh, team viewer. Camera remote. What's the difference in this one and this one? Now that's probably IP camera stuff. Let's see this one DSLR. Well, since this is not a DSLR, <laughs> open camera remote. I wonder if that's made by Open Camera. That's my favorite camera app when it's an open source. It's compatible. Yeah, modified version of open camera. It gives you focus, shutter, trigger, remote. Well, I can't even send the app. <clears throat> yeah. Hmm. Some routers block this. Well, I don't remember. I was in there, but. Hmm. This is pretty cool. Let's see if it works. Yeah, it's open source. I was sure it was because it said it was made by the same outfit. Pretty good reviews too for and there's always somebody that hates it. Huh? There. They're answering them. 
<clears throat> well, there was some of the, one of the reviewers there was saying you can't do. You said you could view them, but then somebody said you couldn't. So a lot, a lot of, sometimes people just don't understand it, do stuff, or don't want to go read the instructions. So we'll try it. <clears throat> Hopefully, I have enough room to put it on here. Pretty much what most apps want to see, looks like. Okay. I don't know why it does that when you're already logged in. Okay. Now, there it is. Oh, I can't read it though. Something popped up telling me it was installed. Yeah. Okay. Let's try it. So it got installed. And let's see. Yeah, it looks like it's the last one in the list of apps. It's going to be, I have open camera on here, so it will be, wait a minute, I think that's open camera. No, that's open camera remote. Okay, it looks just like open camera. Touch to focus, press the blue camera button to take photos. For more help, click online from settings. It's completely free. If you like this, please consider buying my donate app. It's got more about the privacy policy and stuff. But it's a real uh, open camera has always kept things up to date. It it has had its problems. It's uh, it's not no no you know no software is perfect, but uh, it's uh, zero. It's it's got a circle that's zeroing in on trying to like show the focus point or something. Now there's, uh, well, let's just, I'll just let you, maybe I can see the, if you've ever seen open camera, you'd be like, well, it's just open camera. But uh, it is a little different, but it's got all the, uh, all those things, blurry buttons and stuff. I don't think I can show them any better than that. But I still have this, I don't know if this endoscope is still working or not. Yeah, it is. Okay, so maybe I can show it up here. It's not really going to be any better, it doesn't look like. Well, that's a li little better, maybe. It's still blurry as I'll get out. And when you do get closer, then the, you get trouble with the brightness on the screen. But, uh... So what I'm going to do is try to see if I can find a setup. Well, I guess first I'm going to get that get this thing in pairing mode. Well, let's just look in it first. It may not even do that. I'm afraid, like I thought. Okay, face detection, HTTP server. You can turn down. I remember reading about that. Oh, pairing QR code. Oh, it's got a QR code for pairing, but. That camera can't do that. Line with the last photo. Timer. Camera controls. Camera preview. On screen DUI. Photo settings. Video settings. Location settings. Processing settings. I might end up having to go to a pairing QR. It's just a QR code. It brings up a QR code, and I guess, I guess some of these sport cameras or whatever, maybe they, you can just do that. But, uh, but this one doesn't. It doesn't do that. I don't know. That's making me think maybe I can't do what I want to do. Photo mode. It's like the most, if it, if it will work, it's like the most uh, 
control you could possibly have. ISO. Oops. Actually, I'm going to go to the app. I'm thinking that uh, it's got camera and video mode. There we go. Now it is. I didn't have it in video mode. You can, I guess, oh, switch which camera you're using. It's already on the, what I, I usually call it the forward camera. It's showing the, uh, what's down there. I'm not sure about that. What's that? Oh, that's where you open things up into. Now we'll go into the settings and see if there's something about face detection. HTP. I mean, I'd, well, there's nothing on the instructions saying it can read the QR code to pair. Repeat. Enable more camera options. I didn't go in there. Pause after taking shutter sound. Control Bluetooth LE remote control. I think it's a camera app and a remote control. I just now saw that. Let me see if I can. Just like the settings are just a whole lot like a uh, regular open camera, but with more. If it'll do both, that would be cool. I'll use this one instead of regular open camera. Bluetooth LA remote control. I guess you go with, click on it. Yeah, there we go. Okay, enable Bluetooth LE remote control. Oh, okay. B L E remote device type. Perkins Smart Housing. Select remote device. Oh. Dim screen if remote disconnects. Use salt water for depth calculation. What? Oh, because, uh, you know, some of those sport cameras go underwater. Okay, so I'm going to have to get this back into pairing mode. Try it. We'll just try it. Use your little finger. I can use my little finger. I can do it. There we go. Okay, now let's see what we can do. Enable Bluetooth pairing on uh, remote type. There's only one. Okay. Select device. What? Uh, okay. Open camera BLE device scan. Open camera, BLE, device, scan. This seems to be the same thing. Really can't tell. One icon has a... Something that looks like... I'm just going to try... And I'll try the one on the left first. See if it's working. Now it's a blank screen with scan up there. I guess, I don't know if I should hit scan or is it scanning? I think you have to hit scan. Current remote not. It's not doing anything. I don't know. I don't think that's working. Let's try it again. Dim screen if it. See, it's on remote device type, Kraken Smart Housing. So I don't know. There's not enough. I thought there might be a list of. Okay, now I'm going to select the one on the right and see if that. Same thing, blank screen with. The word scan up in the corner. Can't really see it there, but what happened? 
I guess I'm getting getting behind. I'm going to touch the scan, see if it does anything. I keep I'm forgetting to look over there. That's where I need to look. See if anything's happening. Dang it. I was sure hoping that would work. Surely this is not to uh, connect to a remote so that I can control this. It's making me wonder now if that's a better way. You know what? That may be what it's doing is trying to find a remote control to control this. That's not what it sounded to me like. It sounded like you could use your phone to control sport cameras. This time I won't keep hitting that button. See if it's actually maybe it's really scanning and all that. Current remote none scan. I don't think anything's happening here. The thing is that I will have to uninstall stuff to keep installing that thing. Going to have room on here to. I like the idea of this unless it. Since I already know the regular open camera, and if it ain't going to do what I was thinking, then Bluetooth LE remote control. Oh, I see. That's not what I thought it was, though. Camera preview. So maybe... Maybe I, uh, like the person that gave it a one star, thought the wrong thing of what it really does. Okay, so what I do whenever I uh, <coughs> install an app and find out that I can't use it or don't like it or whatever, I use all-in-one toolbox to clean it up. I just thought, wonder if I want to, somewhere in there, there's a, this is a different layout. Some of these have updated and some of them, I think it's because there's not enough space on the phones, but some of these have updated and some haven't. This one looks like the newer interface. How big is Amper? 17.83 megabytes. Okay, it's not tiny. Open camera, 6.25 megabytes. Open camera room R. So it's going to be open camera remote. It's only five point something megabytes. I'm going to take it out because. Oh, you can either back up or uninstall. I'm going to hit backup. I might want to try that again and I might not even remember. Okay.
But that puts it on the SD card. Doesn't put it in the. You don't really need that Amper app, though. Unless you're testing something. Discharging level 78%. July on. It says it's health of the battery is good, even though it's all swelled up. That's another thing it was good for. Tells you the phone, the temperature. It's a really good app. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. Um, but the, the one I just... Uh, Yeah, I'm going to take that other one off. It says there's large, 35.40 megabyte of large files. Okay, well, that's not that much. It's probably some video that I never did uh, backup. I always back them up and then delete them off of here. Open camera remote. Hmm. It was up at the top. Oh, that is 17 megabytes. Amper. Damn. I keep thinking I should go ahead and take that off. Let's see. Open camera. I think I'll leave that open camera remote for now. What it was doing is it was, it looked like it was going to uninstall it and delete the backup. And I, didn't want to do that. So I'm uninstalling the Amper. Hope it was backed up. No. Archive, Occupy, 539. Well, I know how tight I am, and I'll leave it on here for now. And if I get, I guess if I get a, well, if I get a message saying I can't, Oh, I was going to do the clean, the cash clean. Where's the cash cleaner? Not enough space. Used 1.49 gigabyte, total 2.07 gigabyte. Yeah, that's what they have. Two. They only have two gigabyte. <clears throat> that's why they fill up. That's talking about the onboard flash memory chip. So, <coughs> I got more space than I thought, but <clears throat> I was thinking I didn't have. Any. So, <coughs> How come I'm not finding the. All I'm seeing is the basic. <coughs> hmm. It's a different looking icon than the regular all-in-one toolbox. <clears throat> it was towards the end of all my icons. Now, this is normal. What have I got? <coughs> <coughs> that may be some kind of icon to get you quick quickly to the stuff <clears throat> that's normally what it looks like <clears throat> so I'm going to do the clean there we go <clears throat> give it all the extra cash and stuff Four hundred forty five megabytes. That helped. He cleans the RAM too. And this is the part where you get those advertisements and stuff. Yep, brought up some kind of page. And the other one. I don't even know where I was now. 
Yeah, I've got two open camera icons, and you can't tell which one is which. Well, there, there's the other one, I guess. That's the same thing. I don't know. I can hardly see what I'm doing here. Well, I don't know what it is. I didn't, I kind of glanced at it with my magnifying class, but I didn't really look close. I'm wondering if it wasn't actually something else besides the <coughs> toolbox that I'm used to. <coughs> it, it, was, it was blue, but the words, the icon was different and the text was a little different. But I was trying to read it without the magnifying glass. <coughs> <coughs> Why do I have to keep working? I guess I have a deadline in my head somewhere. <clears throat> oh. Maybe I better go here and see. I think I misunderstood what it would do. <clears throat> I already have that in my favorites. What to say by open camera devs? I'm not sure, but <clears throat> I don't know if this will work with uh, another. I think it only works with this open camera app that I just got through installing on your phone, is what it does. Okay. Triggers photo or video recording capture for multiple compatible phone cameras. Oh, I saw that multiple up to 200 and some odd simultaneously. Eliminates wired focus shutter control cables. <clears throat> so you could put that, that the one I installed on the camera, on all your cameras, and set them up from different angles, and then use this to, to simultaneously video or take pictures or whatever. Transmits capture commands to all among the this is the one I'm talking about this is the one that was a link there was a link in here and I went to it I was I was in trying to hurry you know wasn't paying real good attention so you install this on all your cameras like I say I got three I could put it on three identical cameras I could put it on there and then use this I don't know I guess I could use the tablet say <clears throat> as the control device and I could uh, focus, you know, I could do a lot, the, I think quite a bit. But you can trigger uh, photo or video on all of them simultaneously. There's some pretty cool stuff you could do with that. Three D <clears throat> stereo photography, multi camera angle video shoot, multi camera VR, panoramic image capture, etc. Hmm. 
Yeah, you could uh, at a ga- at a, we could have to say everybody install this and use it at a gathering or something. <clears throat> Pretty cool. Got to have at least two cameras to work. Though. Okay, so I'm done looking at this. It's cool, but they call this open camera remote. This should just be <clears throat> this one should be the one called remote. This is the actual remote app. That's crazy. I'm gonna put four. Now, <clears throat> maybe I'll figure that out next time. I think I got that. <clears throat> That'll be good enough. <clears throat> okay. Well, I'm going to start at the beginning over here because usually the closest thing to what you're trying to do is at the beginning. <clears throat> I do kind of wonder about that one, but well, let's look at it. Not compatible anyway. So let's just do them in a row. <clears throat> I'll skip the ones with two stars, though. Incompatible. Okay. <clears throat> oh, well, that's the one I just got through installing and trying out. I have thought of wanting to be able to do that. I've read about being able to do that with stuff, and I've thought about trying it. <clears throat> oh, that's a remote support app. It's not... That's in my um, <clears throat> in my uh, favorites. Oh, it's already added to my wish list. I didn't think about looking in my wish list. <clears throat> I just now thought, oh, I should have added those to my wish list. <clears throat> but sometimes I don't think about it. Let's don't waste any more time. Let's see what this one is. It's only three stars, though. Doesn't work either. That's an IP camera app. <clears throat> I guess I better just be more looking for something that actually does the kind of thing I want to do. <clears throat> Even if it's
I just now thought of something. You know, I'm doing Wi-Fi connection, not Bluetooth. <clears throat> and I was sitting there turning on Bluetooth, wasn't I? In the, in the app a while ago. I'm not tired. <clears throat> or goofy. Oh, this takes two cameras. That's the way a lot of these apps are. <clears throat> I wish you could narrow it down to that they only look at ones that work with your camera. Okay, that's an action camera app. <clears throat> Mine. I'm pretty sure a DSLR app won't work with it. Why are we looking at Team Viewer? I used to use that to connect to <clears throat> from my I like I used to connect from my desktop to my phones so I could control the phones since they're so hard for me to read. I skipped that one, didn't I? Let's make sure we look at it. It says IP, but that doesn't incompatible anyway. I'm using an IP webcam. This is the kind of app. This is like IP webcam. This is one I'm not sure I've seen before. Saying it has a better motion sensing. <clears throat> motion sensing is real basic on IP webcam. I like, I mostly like it for, I am using it for the, the you know, for surveillance setup. But uh, what I really like it for is, streaming live from the cameras. Interesting. I don't believe I've tried this one. I could have and don't remember, but <clears throat> put a one in front of it to tell me to check it out. <laughs> Excuse me. That's just from one camera, kind of like that other one I was looking at, open camera one, from one camera to control another, phone to control another, or tablet. There's the one that I already have on the uh, mom's tablet. It will go, oh, it'll work on this, uh, my phones, but... Pretty good app, I think. ONVIF, that's the type of <clears throat> device, type of communication, I guess you would say, on the 
my webcam, my, my uh, surveillance cam. Trying to see if maybe it actually will do. No, it's all for surveillance cameras. Okay. <clears throat> Takes a long time to look through this stuff. I may need to quit. It's about three o'clock in the afternoon now, and I have I'm gonna have to. I'm getting hungry again. I had my had a couple of hot dogs on one piece of bread, uh, but now I've gotten in dust, and I really need to get in my shower. I was kind of thinking, well, I guess I could go to bed without a shower, but I don't want to now. My eyes and face are kind of stinging from that dust now. Dust really eats me. And, of course, that's just what I needed when I was already had allergies from the air that I've been breathing all day. I still have the window open, and it's still cool air. It's 66 degrees out up in town there. I don't know what it is right here. It's usually a little cooler here. I got an indoor outdoor thermometer. I can flip it, and in a minute it'll tell me. Everybody gave it a one star here lately. Said it won't connect to their camera. Oh, no. It's only got two stars. <clears throat> but I'm going to just put it in my... I don't want to mess with it since it's 66 here to 66.4.4. It's, I forgot what it was. I think it's 77 or 78 in here, but the cool air coming in makes me feel oh, fine. You know, And even though it's a rainy, humid day, it doesn't feel so bad. This morning it did. It was sticky. I had the window open for an hour or two last night, really. You know, like I think I got up at 10 or something like that, so it was probably about 12 or 1 when I opened the window after I'd eaten breakfast and Now I forgot where I was. Okay, tiny cam. That was where I was. Okay. IP phone camera, desk share, DSLR remote. I do not believe that kind of app would work. It's not compatible anyway. Well, it camera on PC yeah, that's another one of those kind of app oh I've already got it in my it's just in my I was looking to see if I tried it and whether it was any good or not home security don't imagine that will work. Hmm. Oh, that's to turn your phones into security cameras. It's always good to see what that says. Make your old phone, yeah. Those are really popular apps. And it's very useful. Oh, that one's only got not even one and a half stars. Maybe I'll go to that one. And that'll be the only one that will actually work.
Oh, that's probably why they're getting bad ratings because it can't really do anything with it without paying for it. Well, it looks like maybe it could help you learn how to write your own scripts, but not too many people want to do that. I've learned to write some very basic scripts, like to download. Oh, what are they for? Anyway, uh, but basically copying and pasting, you know, lines. But uh, now I forgot where I was. Okay, did I look at that one? I think I skipped. Oh, we camera on PC. I think that's the one I was on. I wish they would like stay, you know, a color or something so you can. Okay, that's one I've been on. That wasn't the one I was just. That must have been it. Yeah, because it's two, one and a half stars. I wanted to say something about spying in them are usually BS. Well, let's look since I'm really desperate to find something. Actually, it's good ratings. It's already in my. Does YouTube streams, ONBIF. Well, it seems pretty decent. Unless I didn't try it yet. Maybe just what I, you know, put in, wrote down some of its features. But it's not for what I'm trying to do. Looks like it could be a good app like IP webcam that I'm using right now on my phone. I need to, f I think I need a better search term. Okay. Um, there might be a different app. It might not be this app. Let's see. No, it's not compatible. It's supposed to be for DSLR. Team viewer. Why is it coming up in the camera? not even compatible anyway okay I'm tired of clicking on every one of them I've tried that one before GoPro video that might be the type of thing probably really is for GoPro that is doesn't matter incompatible I skipped that one hmm. might as well have Might be okay. Oh, it's already in my. Yeah, it looks good for a main camera app. Okay. Um, I didn't look at that one. Okay, so. Um,
we look at that one. remember seeing that one but I've been down look farther in there than that I need to change my search terms right here yeah remote for your Windows PC that's not much use for me can't see it I can't see it the uh, the tablet I can see okay but it does work my eyes pretty hard okay remote view sometimes it's better not to spell out and control um, Not sport camera, but what the heck would you call it? That's what it does is over Wi Fi. So let's see about that. Problem is, I won't really know if I've looked at them before. I can't remember unless I was recognized like I recognize that icon because it was funky looking this one that's the one I installed I believe yeah this should be view camera on PC oh well, I've already seen that one Uh, wait yeah that's something I've probably been wanting to try but it got lost in my links I'm not sure if this is what I'm looking for or if it's just another is that a video now I don't want to play that now let's just see it's probably not gonna be of any use anyway usually if they have all that crappy music they're not gonna tell you anything they're just gonna play music and show stuff that's not explaining anything might be all right but since I'm stream your device's camera okay so I think that's just just for your uh, tablet or yeah tablet or phone Got the word they say device because you know tablets and phones do pretty much the same thing now. So
Yeah, this is just uh, one, you know, camera so controlling a, another camera or tablet. saw that now. the picture made me think <clears throat> maybe it was from phone to a camera but it's just phone to phone or whatever trying to just look through them but I'm losing the ability to comprehend what I'm seeing why isn't it finding anything Yeah, that's one I already, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's actually more of a remote desktop, remote phone top app. <laughs> believe a DSLR LR remote app would work on my camera but it's not compatible with mine screen sharing some of them you click and it just goes off you can't it might be I don't know if it's you know in the text it's being hidden or what but you don't know where it is can an EOS remote I don't think that would work with this camera. This is the kind of thing I want to do. Probably not since, you know, that's a proprietary camera. Well, so is, well, I guess, you know, some of these, even though they don't call them open source, some of these uh, Chinese things are actually more open. Because they just they don't they don't acknowledge copyrights, you know. They just do what they want to do. So they don't they take and they don't and they don't worry. They know somebody's gonna take theirs too, so they don't worry about it so much. That's what they kind of do. That's what I've uh, I saw some videos about it a couple of years ago. Some Chinese business people talking about it. This is just what uh, that's the kind of thing I'm wanting to do. Compatible cameras, there you go. It's all uh, Canon, so I don't think it would be worth it. Yeah, I was thinking, well, there's no point in trying that one, I don't think. 
I was really wanting to say, well, maybe we could try it and it might work. One I've seen before. Yeah, that's uh, from Windows. Yeah, PC remote can connect camera remote. Sony Mobile. I doubt any with a brand name. I don't think it'll work. I already tried those. I believe. I don't know if that's a camera brand or what. Let's. Maybe that uh, camera caterer. What a weird way to say that. Just noticed my laptop went to sleep. Oh, okay. And I just thought, do I have my incompatible my browser open up there or anything? I couldn't remember what was the last thing I did. Mouse. Well, just because it says DSLR doesn't mean it absolutely won't work. That is compatible. Infrared by wire, Bluetooth. Doesn't say Wi Fi, I don't think. This is what I want to do, but, and it works with various models built in IR Center, Samsung, it's just the same. Well, I'm going to, it doesn't say anything about Wi-Fi, but I'm going to put it in there so that I can find it again. Let's see what that's about. I've already seen this one. Oh, that was the kind of picture on that app that. They told you to get. Oh, is this the uh, Wi Fi remote capture? Yeah. But it, it's not in my favorites. So. Yeah. Okay. So this is, I don't know why that's not. I thought I put that in. Maybe I put it in. Well, it should have been blue no matter what. 
but I don't know. Maybe it's a slightly different version. It could be. Yeah, see, it goes somewhere, and I don't know where, and I don't see any words that are too long for the... Then it goes to there. I, it happens a lot on search some pages when you're trying to search them. Well, this is watch stuff. Phone camera from, from your watch, I guess. Remote link, a Zeus is probably not going to work for this. For your PC. Hmm. It's basically a remote desktop app. Drone remote. Wait, what did it say? It is compatible. I don't do Windows, so. There's one that's not free in that list. Two, three. Three clicks before I got something that I could see. for Android. I'm looking at these because I don't want something to control the computer. I want something to control the Android devices on the computer. This is the opposite, I think. For some reason, it seemed, I'm just going to put it in there because it seems like it might be a decent app. Roku remote. Chrome remote. Oh, that's for the Chrome thing. Devices. Bluetooth remote. I think I am so far, you know, if I'm starting to see Bluetooth, then we're not even looking at things that communicate over Wi-Fi anymore. I um, guess I'm, I'm going to have to give up. I am just too tired to continue. Did, well, see, now, see how long I did that. That's why I didn't want to do that. Uh, because, uh, but I was really kind of being silly in my thoughts to not realize that. I had I had figured it out a couple of times now. Now it's kind of coming back to me. I had figured it out that there probably was no way it was going to connect straight to the router. It's only meant to uh, connect from a phone to the camera and control the camera with the phone. Uh, you know, view, well, you, you don't have to control it. You can just use it for a preview. It could even, you, you could use it to help you aim, but I'm sure it'll be a bit laggy, you know, because I've done, I've done this for years with, uh, 
IP webcam and other and some other apps. And uh, let's see, I was I didn't I didn't say it. Okay, I'm waving. And and it's really laggy in my preview over here, but it's usually better in the actual recording. <coughs> Once I <coughs> look back at it, <coughs> sometimes it gets really really bad. <coughs> it just depends on. Um, I don't know. It may depend a lot on interference in the Wi-Fi signal, you know, in the air. And it, but it does depend on like if I go for hours and hours, then the routers will get. I just they get tired. Is what I just say. I don't know a better way to say it. But well, the cache gets full. There, that's really a better way to say it. But uh, so I didn't find anything that I think I could use. <clears throat> Let's see, you can just close that. Okay, yeah, the light went out, so that means the battery's charged. So I can put that other dead battery in there and let it charge. Yeah, and since I've finally realized, well, I can use the actual charger, I can just do it right there and leave it. Um... So, I'm going to quit, and I'm going to have to take it up again. I just was really wanting to get that one thing done today because it's been a couple of months, and I, you know, I hadn't got back to trying because I didn't feel good. And so, yeah, it's a good idea. The first day that you fill up to doing something, wear yourself completely out, stay up for I don't know how many hours, at 10 o'clock last night to 3.15 plus eat. I got to eat. I got to take a bath. Right now, I'm so tired, I could just lay down and go to sleep, but I can't go to bed without eating. So, uh, uh, I got diabetes, I, I can't do that. So, um, unless I want to get up in an hour or two, being feeling sick and having to eat and barely knowing what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm going to go and, uh, oh well. If I could remember everything I learned today and, and refreshed my memory with the day, I'd be doing good. But we'll see how well I, what I, what I remember. But uh, all I know, that's all I know to do is just keep on searching until maybe I can find another app that can do it because I wouldn't even halfway risk downloading that. Well, that app won't run on my phone, and I'm darn sure ain't going to put it. Even if it would work on my mom's tablet, I'm going to put that on there, not when it shows up with malware on their site. And that and that download link showed up malware. So, no, nope, thank you. See, what one time years ago, uh, we bought a uh, OBD two reader, you know, for the card to read the uh, computer stuff on the car. Came with a little CD. This is before they always sent you to the internet to download their apps and stuff. And uh, and it had uh, it had. Uh, you know, Android apps, and and I think they had some, you know, I, Mac apps, iOS, whatever they call it. Uh, um, anyway, uh, didn't think anything about it, just started using them and stuff, and I think what happened was one day, I had them all backed up on my computer, and there was some, uh, I think there was some, maybe a couple of Windows apps too. Anyway, my one day my... Uh, I don't know if I just did a virus scan on my downloads or what happened, but anyway, virus. I was on Windows, you know. It, they ran, yeah. They didn't run in Linux. It wasn't anything for Linux in there, and it popped up, you know, virus warning. And I was like, what the heck? And so I scanned them with various scanners, and for darn, and it wasn't a false positive, you know. They had sure enough Trojans in them and stuff, and uh, and it wasn't just one app. There was a whole bunch of apps that came with it. Ten or twenty-five apps, and it was like, I think it was five of them that were badly infected, and this was burned onto the CD. This was completely and utterly on purpose, you know. This wasn't anything that could get corrupted, you know. But they they put it on there for us. So that's when I really started realizing, and this was you know from China, cheap OBD reader from China, and. Uh, I guess it was 10 years ago, or it could have been 15 years ago. I can't remember now. 
So I taught me to be more, way more careful. Uh, don't even, uh, you know, you never really thought about getting malware on a CD. I mean, if you download on the internet, everybody knew to watch out for that. But and half the time you didn't watch out good enough back in those days. Uh, well, I used to you, back then. Uh, a lot of times I would be a little bit careless. I think, oh well, my I got real time virus scanning. You know, back when I was running Windows. At that time, yeah, at that time, I only had Windows for doing things like that, and I ran Linux, of course, if I remember right. So, uh, anyway, um, it made me be a lot more careful ever since. And I have <coughs> found uh, infected sites like I use, uh, let's see, I never did really show that, um, Okay, let's say I didn't know if that link was safe. You know, right click on it, and I would go down here and, uh, and uh, say scan the link. You can do the other thing, scan the whole page. But see, before you go to the link, you can scan it with uh, virus total. I think the add on is called VT Zilla or something. And it'll just scan it with however many uh, scanners are available. Sometimes it's 60, sometimes it's 80. So this was to a page, but if it was a link to a down a file, it'll scan that file. Uh, and this is clean. It's, you know, 80 scanners, and it's clean. But, uh, like, I don't know, I guess if, um, let's see, can you do that here? I don't know if you could do it. it. This is not a standard download deal, but, you, you know, you can scan it, looks like. Yeah, you can scan it. Scan the page. Oh, okay. And then if you were there, let's see. Let's say I was going to put it. That makes it look like it's scanning that phone. <laughs> scan the page. Yeah, so you can't, you can't uh, do it that way. This is that m mirror app. But, um, Anyway, I'm not going to keep on going into it. I'm too tired. But um, I imagine you get, get the idea. Oh, the, the – uh, I was going to say, what is the the name of it? Cause, yeah, BT4 Browsers, Virus Total Browser Extension. That's what it's called. you really got to watch out because when – you know, it's been a couple of years now, but when uh, Firefox went to their new format for add-ons – I already, you know, I've been using it for years, and uh, I thought, well, I've got to go find my, you know, a lot of the add-ons, like, for instance, Adblock Plus wasn't available yet. They did get it, it wasn't compatible, you know, for that new system, and they did, after a couple months, get it going. But um, some of the others never came back, you know, the other people thought it was just too much work, and they didn't, it wasn't worth it to them. They weren't, I guess they weren't making enough any donations on the add-ons, you know, or enough donations. Um and so anyway, I found one that sounded like it was it, and it turned out it was a fake. You see, this is open source, so anybody can take it and remix it, you know, re redo it the way they want. And uh, and that's nothing wrong with that, but what they did was uh, it had a scanner, and it seemed to work uh, like that, like this does. But it would just, when it up, every time it updated itself, it would open up, another tab and that's not unusual you know a tab to your uh, the makers page saying thanks for updating blah 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 well it would open up a tab to a bunch of downloads a bunch of funky weird looking games with all kinds of your typical you know uh, blinking stuff uh, that you know that just tells you when everything on the page is blinking that that's usually untrustworthy stuff um, and uh, you know, uh, click me, click me kind of stuff, you know. And um, anyway, um, I scanned those pages, and uh, it was just full. It was it was malware on them, you know. And uh, and it, it would open them up sometimes, like when it um, when actually, I don't know if it only opened up, ever actually opened up when it was updating. It may have just opened them up whenever it, want, you know, ran, seemingly randomly to me, but whenever they, probably whenever they just wanted to try and 
And of course, all the stuff on there was for Windows downloads. So I, you know, I couldn't have done anything with them if I wanted to. But and at least they didn't. I never did detect that. Uh, well, I don't know. I, there was malware on that page, not just those download links. So, but nothing happened to my computer because I was running Linux. But if I'd have been running Windows, I don't know what the heck would have happened. And by the way, I reported them. And the last time I looked, that thing was still there in the fire. I'm not going to, I'm fixing to go show it. No, I'm not going to do that. Last time I looked, it's, it was, I stayed uh, watching on it for several months and they never replied to me and never took it down. So probably to this day, you better watch out. Um, add on. I never had a problem with an add on it with fire. They were saying it was supposed to make everything safer and better, you know, with the Firefox add ons. I had never had a problem with one before then. So, um, and I haven't since because I learned to be more careful and pay more attention to, uh, and like, um, I'll go, you know, I'll go and do a scan on the, the maker's page if I haven't ever used them before and haven't heard of them. Do a scan, don't just go to their page, but just look like I just showed you, right? Click on the link to their page and see. And I did find some other ones that seemed fishy, but I didn't find any out and out malware on their pages like that one. But uh, they didn't seem trustworthy, like an uh, you know an add-on that I would really want. So, so um, well, been real, been fun, but I'm not sure if it's been real fun. Only, I, well, two reasons. I didn't get done what I wanted to do. I hate that. But I'll live. Uh, the other thing is I just, I'm so wore out now, I'm going to regret it. So anyway, um, and now since my stream got broke every time I tried to stream, I'm going to have to, every one of these videos, I'm going to have to actually upload them, and it takes forever normally. And since there's so many people on the Internet right now with everybody home, uh, I guess my be only bet to do it is to do it in the middle of the night, which I've been up at all night lately. So I guess that won't be too big of a problem. But it, it works my computer really hard, uh, and I can't do much of anything else while it's downloading and uploading. So all these videos I've did today, I'm, it's, I'm going to take four hours or five hours to upload them all. So that's why I'm whining. All right, well, I'm going to go. Uh, I try and, you know, when I come back and work on it again, I'll try and make another video. I, I don't like to, you know, leave it hanging and not make the video of the six. I want the success video. <laughs> so hopefully I'll be able to do that. If not, then uh, maybe I'll just mention, mention it later or something in another video. All right. Bye. Mm -hmm.